so that has a reason for that so let's look at this now there is something called a pyro board i don't know if you guys have seen pyro boards right i will show one of the pyro boards videos in uh, my youtube uh, video Now you may have seen a Rubens tube before. That's basically a pipe with a bunch of holes in it and you pump in a flammable gas and light it on fire. So you basically create a row of Bunsen burners. What's really cool is to play some sounds into the tube and you can actually set up standing waves. Whoa. That is, there are areas, there are patterns of the vibration of the air where there's a lot of vibration in some parts and not very much vibration in other parts. Now that affects the flow rate of the gas inside that tube into the atmosphere and so it affects the height of those flames. So basically you can visualize the standing wave pattern. I'm currently in Denmark with a team of physics and chemistry demonstrators who have taken this experiment to the next level. They've actually created a two-dimensional Rubens tube, a whole plane of, of Bunsen burners effectively. How many holes in this tube? And 2,500. 2,500 in this pyro board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna see 2,500 little flames. Yeah. So do you wanna light it up? Yes, I really wanna light it up. Why did you make this? Because we really liked the Rubens tube, but then we thought, ah, when you put on more fire, then it always gets better. <laughs> and uh, let's just turn it down. And then we can just try to find a standing wave. So this is below the lower standing wave. Hello? See ya? It's really difficult to see it. We need a quality of a little bit. see what happens is in this in the pyro board you have so many um, holes in um, in a flat surface say for example it's like a gas it's it it's um, it's like a gas cooker but the the gas comes out in so many holes say tiny holes say thousands of tiny holes and they light it up and they change the sound they change it to different frequencies according to the frequencies the the shape of the 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 flame changes so this is very good very interesting and uh, it's in on youtube there are so many videos so you can have a look and see so what happens is the shape changes or the the image changes <laughs> according to the painful. sound Why don't we try to put something right so there is a relationship uh, so every different frequency has a different shape so if you bring it back to the same frequency again that shape will come back this process that is there is a combination of the gati guna gati handa and the gati rua right so sometimes say for example we say uh, if we see a, a person that's done a lot of bad things right you say oh you're a dog or he's a dog kind of thing right so what do we mean by that or if someone is calling another person a dog that means that's not good right but why do we call that person a dog we call that person a dog for his attributes right whatever he's done so those are the gati gati guna or the qualities if he's got bad qualities we call him you're a dog kind of thing so we call animals right animals names for that right so what happened is uh, there are like uh, for example let's take uh, a god a man a dog snake right S uh, different ones and then we'll see what happens what do you think happened to them so what are these so these are results right these are not uh, when we when you talk about uh, the the cause and effect right these are the these are the effects so being a man or being a god or a dog or whatever was the result so what was the uh, uh, the course we had to try and find out the course if you know the course then we can make sure it doesn't happen as a result right 